But then we have Aina Koji's philosophy, which is a philosophy built inside of him for many years of his life. The actual ideologies and the white room planted within him, being a winner and nothing else. All people are tools, doing anything to get to your goals. Since Ainokoji's philosophy is one that has been built since he was young to when he escaped, he is stuck with a particular idea. It's also his nature too, because he was brought up there. He can have all the development, everything including like three years of general social development, and he still can't change. And this is why Ainokoji generally can't change his philosophy, as it's something that can't be changed by just raw social contact or actual development. So if he can't change, can he truly be a better person? Can he defeat his father? If proven wrong, then his philosophy can change. This is where Ainokoji being defeated is a core part of the character. As, if he is defeated, not only does his father lose, but he wins losing the general ideals of his father slash the white room. So with a subconscious wish to be beaten, his competitive nature will also contradict this by wanting to win. So when versing someone that will bury him, he will still go for the win against the person trying to defeat him. So he has to make people grow and witness that growth, and then hopefully, be beaten. There are more examples in this video here. 